This tutorial is going to talk about how to overlay a sketch on top of another drawing. This could be a sketch of diagrams that are overlaid on top of a site plan. This could be uh, a section sketch line work that's overlaid on top of some AutoCAD line work that's the basis for the section. Or uh, as it is in this case, it could be a sketch uh, that is overlaid on top of a photograph of a physical model. In this case, you can see the final result that we're working towards. In most cases, you're going to have a sketch that you will have scanned in. Based on the quality of your scanner, you may or may not have what we'll call scan marks that show up uh, when you scan in a sketch. In this case, I've simulated uh, some scan marks on this particular sketch. One easy tool to start to get rid of the gray in here is simply to go to Image, Adjustment, and Levels. By playing with the levels, you can start to take away the gray by grabbing the far right slider and bringing it down a little bit until the grays are gone. You can also intensify the black line work by grabbing this middle one and moving it to the right. So play with these sliders as a way to start to take away some of the gray that might come uh, from scans. After this step, you might also use your eraser tool to erase any specs that might show up. Now the first step is to take this sketch and actually place it on top of the picture of the model that we want to combine this with. To do this, what we'll do is we'll say Control or Command A to select all. Control or Command C to copy. We'll then click back on our photograph of the model and Control V to paste. Now it's very common for a scan to be a different size of the photograph that you've taken. In this case, it's much larger than the actual photograph of the model. I'll use my free transform tool to begin to shrink this to the actual size of the photograph. We'll zoom out, do Command T in my case. I'll hold Shift while clicking on the corner and this will keep it proportional. I'll pull this down to the, the size of the photograph and hit enter. We'll hit command zero to zoom back in. The next step is to change the layer mode from normal to multiply. This allows us to see through the white and begin to line up our sketch with our drawing that's underneath. Now in this case it's a really good practice to actually put some guide markings that are going to help you in this alignment process. In this case I've put this tick mark right here which I know needs to align with this piece right here. I've also created this tick mark over here that needs to align with this corner so I know that I need to rotate my sketch to actually get this in the right spot. To rotate what I'm going to do is engage my free transform by hitting command T and zooming out. I'll grab this center piece right here which will allow my free transform to rotate around a specific spot and I'm going to put that right on the corner where I know these two pieces match up. I'll then grab outside the box and begin to rotate this until this line work matches up. I'll do both the rotation and holding shift and making this a little smaller. We'll use the nudge tools, which is just the arrows on our keyboard, to move this and line it up perfectly. Got one more tick mark up here that I'm trying to aim for, and I'll try and negotiate between the three of these points. Once I feel good about its location, I'll hit enter to lock this transform in. Now in some cases, simply multiplying the layer with your sketch on top of the base or the background image in this case is all that you'd want to do. That would be the case of AutoCAD line work with a sketch on top of it. In some cases though, it might be nice to invert the line work color from black to white and overlay that on top. I'll do that here. The first thing I'm going to do is add a new layer on top of the background layer. And I'm going to paint bucket this in black. I'll hold down Option and Delete on my keyboard, which fills with a foreground color. That would be Alt and Backspace on the PC version. I'll then turn down the opacity to roughly 30%. I'll click back on my line work layer. I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, and Invert. What this will do, if we change this back to normal, is it inverts the colors to where black is now white and white is black on this particular layer. Instead of multiply on this particular layer mode, I'm going to change it to screen. Screen works similarly to multiply and in this case will allow the white to still pop and the black to completely fade away. You can use this process to take your sketch line work on trash paper, scan it in, and overlay it on top of digital images in Photoshop.